Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to The Blind Life. Today we are checking out a complete family of digital magnifiers. So yes indeed, welcome back. It is freezing in my house. Winter is definitely not gone yet. Uh, <laughs> she's sticking around. But today I thought we would check out an entire family of digital magnifiers. This is the Snow line of digital magnifiers. But before we get into that, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Adam Palmer, Palmer Vision. He distributes all types of assistive technology. And the really cool thing is that he is visually impaired himself. He has RP. So that's pretty cool. Visually impaired business owner helping the visually impaired community. So if you need digital magnifiers, any types of wearable devices, definitely check out Palmer Vision. I will have a link in the description down below and we'll talk a little bit more about him at the end of the video. Okay, with that being said, let's take a look at the complete family of Snow digital magnifiers. This line of digital magnifiers is brought to us by Zoom Max. You've got a 12 inch, seven inch, five inch, 4.3 inch, so there should be something for everybody. They're all very lightweight. They all feature HD, full HD cameras and long battery life. And another bonus of all of these is they all have the stand, the pop-out stand, which allows you to use this on a desktop so you can have a desktop experience as well as a portable. So first, let's talk about the little guy, the little 4.3 inch. It's the most basic of the entire line. But at that size, you don't really need much more than that. You can zoom in and out. You can change color contrast. The small size makes it easy to carry around with you. You can throw it in a pocket. You can throw it in a purse. It comes with two batteries and a carrying case. So it's just a really great option. Next, we have the five inch model here. Once again, has the stand, dual LED lights, full HD camera. It has all the color combinations that we are used to, including yellows and blues and greens and all that. This one also has a camera button on it so you can snap a picture. The example that I always use for this kind of feature is if I'm shopping and there's something on the top shelf and it has the tiny little price tag on the shelf, even if I hold this up and zoom in and try and see it, it still might be difficult to see. So all I have to do, snap a picture, then I can bring it down, I can zoom in, I can read it, I can move it around and read it, and it's much easier that way. If you close the legs on this little guy, it turns into distance viewing mode, so you can see far away and you can zoom in. You can also change the color, obviously, and all of that. So that comes in very handy. Um, you know, you're sitting at a concert or something like that, an event, and you just want to kind of zoom in and, and see what's going on on the stage. You can definitely do that with this little guy here. Now, the seven inch is exactly the same as the five inch, just a larger screen. You've got your colors, you've got your zooming in and out. Once again, the full HD camera, the stand, which puts it at a nice 45 degree viewing angle. You also have distance viewing with this with a slightly larger screen, seven inch screen. You're gonna be able to see it a little bit better. And then once again, the video out port, so you can display this on a large screen TV as well. Okay, let's take a look at the big guy, the big 12 inch. So the 12 inch is definitely the one that I wanted to spend some time to talk about because it has some unique features that the others don't. First of all, it has a very sturdy construction and it's also pretty lightweight and thin. There's a bulge down here at the bottom, but that's the battery. That's going to be expected. But the rest of the magnifier is pretty thin. Got your stand that pops out right there. On the front here, we have a joystick. We have a camera button. We have a home button. Then we have our color contrast button and the plus and minus zoom in, zoom out buttons. Let's go ahead and turn on the Snow 12 digital magnifier. The light comes on and it shows that we are in, ah, it even told us we are in the magnification mode here. So if I put a document under here, tap to focus, so we can use our buttons down here to zoom in and zoom out. We can change our colors, all the colors that we're pretty familiar with here. 
One really nice option about this is we can customize these colors too. So for example, this is the green, the black on green. Say I don't need that. That color doesn't do anything for me. I don't even need, I'm never gonna use it. I can turn it off so it doesn't show up in this menu. If I'm zoomed in here, I can use the joystick to move around and we can go up and down. I can press the camera button and we'll take a picture. And now if I take this away, our image is still on the screen here. And now we have an icon on the screen here that indicates we have a menu. If I click on that, this menu pops out, gives us a couple options. We can save this image, we can look at the gallery, or we can go back. So something else we can do with the camera here, I'm gonna take a picture of my remote control here. Tap to focus, make sure it's nice and clear image. If I take a picture, all right, take the remote out. We've got a picture on the screen. If I zoom in, now I can move that picture around with my finger since this is a touch screen. So if this were like a bank statement or a phone bill, I could snap a picture, zoom in, and then I could move it around to find exactly the information I was looking for. If we click on the home button here. Text to speech function. This takes us into our main menu and we have some options. We can use the, uh, the joystick here to move. Photo gallery, snow link, settings, system information, return. Now, this is a touch screen. Once again, I mentioned before it's got touch focus, but if I tap on one of these, it will automatically launch that. So if I touch on the text to speech icon, it automatically launches that text to speech function and now this is a little dark I'm gonna turn my light back on we have a little icon up there so it brightens it up a little bit now if I click the camera button flexible fabric LED light panel instruction manual so it took a picture and then processed pretty quickly and read it out loud to me it's kind of small there, so if I hit the magnification button, we can make that bigger so I can follow along with it. Now we have a menu that's popped out and we have some options. We can change the, the speaking rate. So she was talking a little fast, so let's turn that down a little bit. Speed down, speed down. Okay, we'll see. What... Flexible fabric LED light panel, instruction manual. That's a little better. We can turn up the volume, we can do a play and a pause. We can also save this image to our gallery once again, if we would like, and we can hit the arrow to go back. And the last thing I wanna show you is the stand for the Snow 12. Nice compact design here. All metal, it's probably aluminum. But I can lift it up like this. This part rotates around just like that. I simply place the snow into the stand here. It automatically recognizes that it's in the stand. And now we have a full, fully functional desktop CCTV setup. So I can put my paper under here. I've got my controls. Tap to focus once again. We can change our different color contrasts. And then if I wanted to fill out paperwork, do a crossword puzzle, read a newspaper, nice and big under here, OCR, an entire sheet of paper, I can do that using this stand. So it's a really nice addition to this already pretty cool 12 inch digital magnifier. Uh, so the only issue I have with these is, and this is an issue I have with a lot of digital magnifiers, they're all pretty much the same with some few exceptions, but because the camera is set at a low angle, it can make it difficult sometimes to do the distance viewing. If you're gonna hold it in a traditional uh, horizontal landscape position, you're gonna need to angle it up a little bit to see out in front of you, if that makes sense, because that camera is at an angle. Now, one way to get around it is instead hold it in a vertical portrait style orientation. And then, for example, if I wanted to look at that light switch over there, it's much more comfortable. Instead of pointing directly at it, I can just turn a little bit and 
it's a much more comfortable viewing angle this way. Okay guys, so that was a look at the complete line of Snow Family Digital Magnifiers brought to us by Zoom Max and brought to us directly by Adam Palmer at Palmer Vision. Once again, if you guys would like any more information about uh, these, I will have a link to palmervision.com down below. All the contact information will be there as well. You can get in touch with them and get all the information that you might want regarding these, availability, pricing, all of that. Just a really solid line of digital magnifiers. Okay guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you like the video, be sure to hit the like button. It definitely helps out the channel. And also make sure you're subscribed to The Blind Life so you can stay up to date with all the videos I put out in the future. And if you have any questions, as always, let me know in the comments down below. I do my best to help out. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. Sam with The Blind Life. I'll see you next time.